So the next step is to marinate the meat. Now I've got it all shredded up here. So what we're going to do is add our garlic. Try to get as much of it out of that. Uh, what did I say this thing was called again? Um, something and something. I don't know. Be long. I don't know. Uh, mortar and pestle. Get as much of it out of our... Stop eating it! <laughs> Get as much of the garlic as you can out of the mortar. Mortar. Uh, shake up the sour orange juice. And we're going to add some of this. I don't measure, so I can't really tell you how much. Just about that much. And we're going to add, since we already put a bunch of adobo in the garlic paste, we're not going to use too much because we don't want it to be salty. I'm going to add some cumin, about that much. We're going to add some oregano, about, I guess, a teaspoon. We're going to add some olive oil, about a teaspoon. And we're going to add some lemon juice. I'm rolling the lemon to loosen up the juices. And then just gonna squeeze that a little so it can be nice and citrusy. You don't have to use this much, you can use half a lemon and half a lime, but I just decided to use the whole thing. And I'm going to put my packet of sauce on. Then mix it really well, get all that garlic all mixed well out the meat and the juices mixed together. And you can tell when it's all mixed together really good because the color of the sasson will be even throughout the meat. And then we're just going to let this sit for a few minutes and marinate. And while that's marinating, we're going to get our onion started. I already heated up my pan, so I'm just going to add some olive oil. Enough to cover the bottom of the pan. And use a big pan so you can spread your meat out <coughs> in a thin layer. Just a little bit of salt on the onions to make them cook down faster.
So now while this is cooking and the meat is marinating, I'm going to start a pot of white rice and we'll be back. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes that I've been cooking these onions. I did it at really, really, really low heat because I didn't want them to be totally caramelized. I just want them soft. They're still kind of stiff. And now I'm going to add the meat that was marinating in the dish. And for this part, you want to turn your fire back up. Kind of high, medium high. And you're going to mix the onions in with the meat. Spread it out much as you can on the bottom of the pan. Try to get as much of the onions sitting on top as you can because you want the meat to get crispy and brown. So you want the meat sitting on the pan. And you don't want your onions to pull back and disappear on you. So try to get some on top of the meat. Spread the meat out. layer, then layer, and let it cook. And when it starts getting crispy on the bottom side, you want to flip over and let it get crispy on the other side. And when it's browned and all nice and crispy, then you're done. Okay, so now I'm flipping the meat, and you see how it's getting all dark and crispy? That's how you want it. It's going to stick to the pan a little bit, but that can't be hot. And... Well, it can be helped. What I do is I take a little bit of the juices that we boiled the meat in in the beginning. And I put them in there. get all that stuff off, off the bottom of the pan and keep the meat from getting too dried out. And then you just let it keep on crisping up until it's all crispy and brown. And now here you have the finished meal with the shredded beef and I just served it with a side of broccoli, white rice, and pinto beans. And now my daughter Angelina is going to taste it and tell us what she thinks. Mmm. It's so good. Get out of that pot! <laughs> Can I fix my plate now? That is your plate! Oh, okay. Bye! Yay! <laughs>